the Windsor Knot, the Knot of Distinction. The Duke of Windsor, formerly known as Prince Edward, invented the Windsor Knot in the late 1930s. Known for his penchant for fashion, he would give the fashion world the most used tie knot and forever cement his legacy as a dawn of distinction. Today we're going to be tying a Windsor knot on a standard tie. These instructions are going to be for a right-handed person as I myself am right-handed. To start, we will position the tie with the large end on your right side and the small end of the tie coming down between the fourth and fifth buttons. The large end of the tie will hang somewhere between your waist and kneecap. You don't want the small end to come from behind the tie as it looks unkempt and takes away from the neat look you're more than likely trying to achieve when you wear a tie. Next, you will cross the large end of the tie over the small end. The large end should cross the small end at the second button on your shirt. You will have to hold the large end in place with your index finger and thumb on your right hand. During this step, you will use your left hand and bring the large end through the space between where the tie crosses and your neck. Pull it all the way through and release it so that it hangs free. You can now release your index finger and thumb of your right hand from the tie. For this next step, you're going to use your left hand and pass the large end of the tie under the tied section of the tie and bring it towards you and down through the open space between your neck and the tied section of the tie. You will need to pull the large end to secure its place. Do not pull it too tight, but it should not be loose. The end of this step should have the knot taking the form of a V, like in the picture shown. The next steps are the most complicated of tying a Windsor knot. For this step, you're going to use your right hand and bring the large end over the top of the knot from the right to your left side as it should rest on top of the knot. Use your thumb and index finger of your right hand to hold the space open and in place. Next, you will bring the large end under the knot and up through the space between the knot and your neck. The large end of the tie should lay over the knot in the same position it will be in when the knot is complete. In this next step, you will pull down on the large end of the tie to secure the knot in place. And your knot is now complete. To adjust, you will hold the knot with your left hand and the small end of the tie with your left hand and you can pull up and down to adjust as needed. Behind the tie you will find a tab. You will take the small end of the tie and secure it behind the large end by inserting it into this tab. You now have a perfect Windsor knot tie. And you know as they say, what's good for the Duke is also good for the Gander. <laughs> Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to tie a winter knot tie.